Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. And when we last left off, I believe we had to equip our submarine. Yes, it's out of troops and out of ammunition and all that and we need a new tank. We need more torpedoes, yes. But, life goes on. Life goes on indeed. We have our Aquajet missiles, so now we can equip this submarine. We can also throw a few more Aquanauts on board. Aquajet, here we go. Um, chemical flares. That's okay. We are down on the thermal tasers. But so far, so good. But what is this I hear you say? We need to name these new troops. Estella Bonal, you shall now be known by the new name of... Excuse me. I've got these all prepared earlier. Battle Bunny. Welcome to the front. Oops, there we are. Yes, I'm recording these today. Apologies that you didn't get a video, a video of Let's Play Covert Action. Um, admittedly, I like had a LAN party over the weekend that no one brought their computers to, so it was a very interesting LAN party, and everyone played board games instead, which was actually okay. But, um, end result is I got back at like four the next day and I was like, uh, you know how it is. But, as for now, we are playing XCOM 2 from the Deep and this person shall be known as Old Dragon. Yes, I think that's how you say it. This person shall be known as the Lame President. That's good. Uh, Melanie Lamarckand, you should now be known as a different kind of... Oh, we don't have enough room. I was going to call her a different kind of duck. Um, different... I oh, know. A duck with difference. Oh, no, we don't have, time. don't have room for that. The different duck. There we go. That'll work. Well done. We've, we got you in there. Uh, Gunther Esser shall be known as Speed Spell. Um, Rochelle Remington, you should be known as Quokka. And if you know what a Quokka is, you're smart. And Lisa Alicia, you should be known as Heavy Storm. Because why a storm's heavy anyway, God only knows. Excellent, we now have all the troops named in a far superior manner to the way they were named before. How is our manufacturer proceeding? It's getting there. So what we're going to do is we're going to identify the better officers, such as Mr. Plow and Jolly Roger. And what we should do is we shall equip these people with aquaplastic armor, because let's face it, we need good troops to survive. Um, Revenge of the Goat. I uh, don't want you to have that. Scuba Steve, you're worthy to have aquaplastic armor. And Yak of Glory. Uh, not really. Uh, but those guys, they can have it. Okay, so far so good. Now we're going to have to take a bad month's score. Oh wait, we now know what Disruptor Ammo is, and we can research the PWT Cannon. This is in itself not so fantastic, but what is fantastic is the, aqua pl is the ability to use Disruptor Pulse launches. What we're now going to do is research the... I don't know. What does it research? The Particle Disturbance Sensor. Why not? We can now use Disruptor Pulse Launchers. We shall now do such a thing. We shall unequip one of the gas cannons. And we shall equip one Disruptor Pulse Launcher with two shots. This will allow us a bit of an edge against enemy attacks. Now, as I was saying earlier, we're going to have to pretty much wear a bad result for this month. Oh, more research, even better. We'll try to do as good as we can on the research. Got no more corpses. Oh, yes, we do. Aquatoid corpse. Quickly try to squeeze that in. Get a few more points. We can now manufacture those. 
Ouch. Yeah, ouch indeed. A score of minus one... One uh, thousand... Pretty much minus two thousand, which is a terrible score, oh, and I admit it. The Committee of Funding Organisations is dissatisfied with my performance. I must increase my effectiveness or risk termination of funding support for XCOM. Pretty much everybody has reduced their funding, and the Egyptian cartel has signed a cooperation agreement with the alien forces and has withdrawn from XCOM completely. We have lost Egypt. And now it's time to try and see if we can get a, um, MC happening. <laughs> We've also located a second alien colony in the South Pacific, and completed the alien autopsy. We'll quickly allocate research, and then we'll try and see where this other base is hiding. There we are. Alien colony number two. We still haven't finished with the first one yet. We are dealing with a do or die time now. It is September. When September ends... <laughs> Um, when September ends, we'll know for certain whether we're going to survive XCOM, if XCOM's going to keep going or not. Simply because, look at our funding. We have lost a large amount of funding. Pretty much a million dollars has just dropped off the face of the earth. We've still got plenty of money, so that's not a concern. The concern is we need to start blowing off some bases. We're also going to have an artifact site appear very soon. And once again, unable to do anything about it. So... The question really is, can we, as XCOM, you know, win the game? That's the thing. We need to basically take out these bases within this month. If we can take out a base, that's a full thousand points. We need a positive score this month if we're to stay in the game. It's that simple. Checking out the graphs and the graphs and the score, as you can see, we had a bad month, good month, okay month, okay month, good month good month, horrible month, and now we're this month. We need to have that stay above zero. If it goes below minus 500 again, the um, United Nations will just say, well, you failed, so get out, and that's what will happen. It pretty much is no point just passing time. Oh, wait! I spoke too soon. We have our Barracuda, and we can launch it at this small sub. Keep going. Barracuda, keep going. There we go. Select new target. Ah! Got your South Australia. Oh, Bass Strait. Lance up hit, lance up down! We have ourselves another mission. A chance to get ourselves ready before we tackle the base. Once and for all, which is going to have to happen. As I said, we need positive score. Alien Sub 35, everyone. I'm also pleased to welcome some additional subscribers to the four. Um, for some reason, Lame President has thought that equipping the Disruptor Pulse Launcher was not a good idea. What we'll do is, instead of having him equip it, we'll have the, um... We'll have the, uh... I love Luca. Luca, I can see Luca singing down the end of that gun. Yeah, for some reason she thought, let's not do that. Um, okay. Carrying on. Everyone else can have their thermal taser and the... They don't need a flare. Don't need a flare. But yeah, we need to get some good score. I am pleased to welcome some additional subscribers to the YouTube channel. Um, it's an interesting story how I actually got the YouTube subscribers. Um... Google sent me a letter saying, hey, you've got a website. We want to give you free money so that you get into our advertising system. And so they did. They gave me like a, you know, a little bit. Oh, look at that. It's devastation. Um, they gave me $75 worth of advertising credit. Isn't that awesome? Um, and I set it up so I don't get scammed for any more money once it runs out. But yeah, it means a few more views onto the website. It means more views here. And that's awesome. So yeah, thank you Google. And it's funny too, like they send you so many like, emails saying, you know, we actually care about you because now you're an advertising person. It's like, you know, they actually care. Normally they just ignore you. But that's what you get, big companies and all that. Um, anyway, we've, we've found the sub. It's pretty broken. It's a Gilman terror, terror site. It's a Gilman thing. Um, 
but really we can't do much more at this stage. Or Dragon having his first encounter. Let's hope it's not his last encounter with the enemies. Um, but let's call it a video. So when we come back, more Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep.